Hi Aquarius Moon, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Carrot 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign and the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a three card spread using the Melanated Classic Tarot deck. I'm going to clarify those three cards using the Cosmic Tarot deck. And at the end of your read, I will do an overall card using the Moonology Oracle cards. I've already pre-shuffled all three decks. I'm going to shuffle the first deck just a few more times. Split the deck and we will begin. In the Spotlight series, we are featuring Cancer Moons, where we are giving honor, recognition, and thanks to them for the wonderful energy that they provide with this being water energy all about taking a deep dive into the ocean of unconditional love having that self-love but then also extending that love and compassion towards others cancer energy is also related to matters of the home nurturance warmth protection and security so all this information on Cancer Moons, I will leave in the description box. Let's do one more Aquarius Moon. And if you know any Cancer Moons, do send them some love. All right. So your first card we have is the Eight of Cups. So this being an energy of you walking away from a situation or from people or a person that is no longer serving you. You are taking your cup from what was potentially a Nine of Cups in a wish fulfillment and finding that the Nine Cups were without any emotion. There's barely any water in the place here and it's bare and dry. You are removing yourself from this because you are wanting love depth and emotion taking your cup that you have been feeling for yourself and wanting to take that ace of cup and put it towards not only yourself but but towards a connection that is going to be fulfilling the full moon energy may have been significant in propelling this energy from within you also bringing greater illumination and uncoverings when it came to illusions or some kind of delusion or secrets. Eighth house being related to that with that being tied to Scorpio energy. Scorpio being ruled by Mars. That being strong masculine energy. Represented by the color of red here. It may have been, I feel, fun at one time, but lessons were... The whole intent for this connection or these connections that you are a part of. These all having their season, serving their purpose. You coming into some greater awareness, possibly due to remaining a little bit too long. And feeling about as dry as this card energy is coming off as. And not being refillable. I feel there's no real flow here. You can see how choppy the waters are. They're kind of separated, sporadic. Not really together, flowing. The cups are empty and without water here. So this being a water card, there's hardly any water here. I feel that being a part of the lesson and you replenishing yourself, restoring that love for yourself and this being a part of the lesson and learning for you on how to do this and how to keep doing this realizing that the energy from within you was not producing what was going to be fulfilling for you you looking outside of yourself for what it is that you could find from within yourself realizing that if you put this into yourself what you're seeing in this situation here is not matching so you're moving away from this. And then you moving away from this, you're definitely moving towards more water energy where you're going to be replenished and filled up because you're feeling you're learning how to fill up your own cup here by removing yourself from the situation here. Eight's being about prosperity. So there was a promise of this energy, but it was 
I feel, again, coming down to the illumination for you and the full moon energy propelling you to take action. Cups energy is water, ca Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Ephugus. We'll see what your second card is. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is super nice. This being that complete energy here. And with it being Pentacles, this does include emotional fulfillment here. This is about having it all and feeling very stable. This could also be about moving towards a person here. Maybe leaving behind a water sign energy. Or energies and moving towards an earth sign. Where they do represent this Ten of Pentacles for you. That being about overall major stability here. And completion. You being in a partnership. Having that wonderful energy of a family life. Honoring your ancestors. Having the pets. This being about the Garden of Eden here. With the Tree of Life being present here. And then the black and white energy. I feel that's about the clarity of a connection and a partnership that you're moving towards here. Also, Hierophant and High Priestess energy coming through. Ancient history is also tied to this card here. This being second house energy, with this being the second card, also tied to Taurus. We do have a T energy that's represented with those pinnacles. Strong Taurus energy. And pinnacles energy being Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. A lot of Taurus coming through here. With that 10, even more of the Capricorn coming through. So I'd say it'd be representative of Capricorn, Taurus, and then Virgo. Virgo being related to the completion that comes with this 10 of Pentacles. And when it comes to health, being a very healthy zodiac sign. So taking really good care internally and seeing this wonderful result outside of one here. Realizing the difference of what one has learned from i feel it's about the extension and seeing that you have to put this into yourself as within so as without and oh my what it is that you're walking towards super beautiful here super beautiful so with that taurus energy that also being about comforts and working slow and steady but seeing wonderful result, knowing, you know, what one is putting strong inve investments into, making sure about what it is that they invest in, where that could have been a part of the lesson here too. But good balance, great stability, great health, wealth, abundance, prosperity, peace, contentment, completion with family. A lot of good happiness here. I feel these are Saturnian blessings here that are coming through with this being 10th house energy of Capricorn. Saturn being the ruler of Capricorn. That 10 breaking down to a 1. So the speaking to endings coming into this. And what I'm getting is that the 9 of Pentacles, that being before the 10, that's what you moved into moving away with this 8 energy. The next energy being a 9 energy. You being that stable, independent person, building this up from the lessons you learn by walking away from what no longer serves, coming into your own, and then moving towards this Ten of Pentacles here. Super marvelous, darling. Let's see what your third card is. We have the Page of Wands. So this being a new start for you, where I do feel you're moving into something that has to do with your creativity and passion. You're very hopeful and excited about this. And you have a lot of fire to put into this. I do feel this is a part of your polarity energy of Leo that's coming through. It could be also dealing with communication or speech. You delivering a message that has to do with your passions and your creativity. You're receiving a lot of abundance from this, feeling very abundant in the first place, but you're coming off of stable ground here. So this, I feel, contributing to even more of that contentment and that success that you're moving towards here, this being a supportive energy. 
speaking to the foundation and what it is that you have built on and what you continue to build upon. This could also be about a message that's coming through for you and towards you. If this is about another person. Wands energy is fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a few kiss. Also a younger energy that you could be dealing with here too as well. I am getting that with you moving away, I feel this energy that you may be connecting to, they may have also moved away from some muddy situations and just gotten out of some muddy situations and that mud also being connected to dirty. So just some lower vibrational energy that they may have experienced. That may have been similar to what you experienced with the Eight of Cup energy and walking away. Where that mud is more about thickness and being surrounded. And feeling like one may be swamped in an energy, possibly feeling stuck. That being tied to the Eight energy with the Eight of Swords coming through. And so with you being in a situation where there's no water... Surrounded by dryness. I feel that who it is that you're connecting to who may be delivering a message was possibly feeling surrounded with the thickness of heaviness of mud. But being a lotus and rising out of this mud here, and I feel this is a promising energy between both you and someone else here. Okay. So you have the prospect of new that's coming through here with this page of wand here. Along with that 10 energy of the 10 of pentacles and that breaking down to a one speaking to a new beginning. Wanting to start on stable foundation, putting fire into this, this being a fire energy here. Where I'm getting this being about an offer of a new start here that has to do with your creativity and passions. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. And this was in reverse. I'm just getting, you may have what you walked away from. I'm getting you being in this Queen of Swords and cutting off what no longer serves. But what you may have cut off may be related to a Queen of Swords in reverse, where there may have been third party situation. Someone choosing and making a choice to choose who they may have discovered now is a Queen of Swords in reverse. This being. <laughs> Someone who's not very nice with their words. We'll just put it that way. Who can be um, pretty low level, very cutting, very manipulative with the use of that sword. It just being the opposite of the positivity that can come from using that sword when it comes to intellect, when it comes to the mind, playing mind games. I would say not really seeing things through, thinking about the consequences, just being very reactive. Taking things for granted and assuming situations are going to remain. And so that being a part of why this energy Continued that energy of this Queen of Swords in reverse. You walking away from this and that being a part of the lack of emotion that's there. The amount of sword energy that's present with that Queen of Swords. But then with it being in reverse. That just kind of tripling the potential of any kind of emotion to be able to come through. And then third party situation being present in that card.
yeah, you just walking away where I do feel it had to do with a third party situation, it being reflective energy that was being projected onto you. Someone, again, I feel that who it is that you were connecting to made the choice of a Queen of Swords in reverse here. And this being a part of their energy too, where because of the third party energy, what you were receiving was very little here. Little to none is what I'm hearing. And so you definitely realize this and seeing what, what it is that you could do for yourself, but then also what it is that you want versus what you don't want. And taking the, making the choice to move forward towards this Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify the <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Like I'm just hearing, I'm getting the hell out of here. We have the Magician. So you being strong in this power, or this could be that energy that you are moving towards here. Gemini energy is being a card of Gemini. With it being the one, though, I do feel that this is about what it is that you've manifested. As far as being in that Nine of Pentacles and then moving towards this Ten of Pentacles. But this could definitely be another person here that you're moving towards. And then starting anew here with this Page of Wands. The Magician is at the beginning of the Major Arcana with that one energy right after the Fool and right before the High Priestess. It's also a very strong, powerful energy where they're able to do magic and use all the elements. Having the Cup, having the Wand, having the Pinnacle, and having the Sword. Being strong in Third Eye energy, as within, so is without. So I feel this is about the glow up and the lessons. The lessons that you learn but then also how it is that you took those lessons and turned them into blessings having this energy from within yourself realizing that you're the the change you have the power within you to create this change and you making sure that you build the stability for yourself and so seeing this energy in yourself and building this up for yourself i do feel a lot of you are meeting up with this energy as the Ten of Pentacles outside of you and someone else here who is also a magician as well. And I'm seeing two different flowers here and then the triangle energy being fire. But also I would say all the zodiac energies, to be honest. I'm getting that being a combination of the 13 signs and the third eye there. And then a partnership energy coming through with the two eyes and that two energy but then one beam going towards this flower and then the other beam going towards this flower energy here. All right, so let's clarify the page of wands. Clarify the Page of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles on top here. Let's see. I'm going to see if we can get one card. Because that was quite a bit that came out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we have Five of Pentacle energy here. That one, Or Five of Cup. I said Five of Pentacles. All the cards are like, there's a deep emotion here. Because these cards are just kind of wanting to speak. This wanted to flip. So we'll see what this is. This fell right on top of the page of wands. So let's see what we have here. We have a total of three cards here. All right. So what I'm getting is that the message coming through is that someone misses you. They see you as this empress. 
Two of Wands energy, I feel this is about any kind of indecision. This not being a situation when it comes to this newness and this new start and these prospects here. This person, I feel if this is about a person here and this message coming through for you, this being an offer from someone, they really miss you here. I feel this is a soulmate you have yet to really come into connection here with. But if there was any kind of indecision, there isn't. And now we have this chariot action here where they're all about wanting to come forward and towards you here. Definitely missing you. I feel there's been an uncovering and discovery about this connection with you coming together and spiritually being connected, but this becoming more grounded with this Ten of Pentacles here. I feel both of you have this magician energy where you're working together and bringing this into the physical. The message coming through about them missing you, wanting to move more into this new start, not being indecisive, but wanting to move towards you here. And this is not gender specific, so do take what resonates. That's just what I'm getting. And then overall, with that as within, so is without energy, I do feel this is about you being on the verge of a new start here, being very hopeful about what it is that you have going for yourself and being accomplished and very proud of what it is that you've done. Creating this Ten of Pentacles for yourself by being in this magician energy, walking away from what no longer serves because you don't deserve this energy here. So you come into great abundance here for yourself, creating on the verge of hope into something new here, being this wonderful empress, that being all four queens in one here, a part of that magician energy, having the use of all the elements to be able to use as one is able to create, this is a very creative energy, one who births something new here. I'm seeing a gem, this being an offer here, this may be related to a ring or a proposal that's coming through, but you love jewelry. This being a card of three, that's speaking to the three that's represented here, the strength of oneself, this being about the change and you discovering your true power and this being a part of this Empress energy here. You have the world in your hands. You have everything that you need. You're very blessed. You're very beautiful. You're very intuitive. You have a strong knowing. You can be a little suspect. But I feel that you give this energy in order to not give the energy of what it is that you're really feeling on the inside here. Some of you may be very strict when it comes to your hair at night and wearing your nightcap protective of your hair and you may be promoting this here too as well this may be something that you're coming into and good luck to you and congratulations some of you may even be into makeup that's coming through pretty distinctly here too traveling may be on the forefront here for you you may be manifesting a wonderful vacation here very heavy into jewelry. I do feel that a lot of you really love wearing jewelry. And this is male or female energy. Counterpart to the emperor. And so that's what I'm getting. You're just on the go here when it comes to your endeavors here. And with this being related to you and this two of wands, could just be that you're in this page of wand energy and not yet to this two of wands. And that being why this is in reverse. Being in a five of cups, maybe feeling that, well, I'm not even getting that as you. I do feel this is another energy that has been missing you and just wanted to come out because it's did come out separately. So this definitely being someone who is missing you here. On the bottom, we have the full card, taking a leap of faith. This could be you or someone that you are connecting to, and I do feel it's connected to that page of wand energy. Receiving enlightenment. Being happy, you may have a pet here. We do have the 
yellow, blue, and green energy here. Chakra energy, throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, sun energy being very strong here. That being a happy card, one of the happiest cards of the deck. Also being the ruler of Leo. And there's mountain energy that's here. There's also mountain energy here. I feel this is a, speaking to an infinity from a past life energy and almost like teleporting and ascending, reaching higher dimensions here that are connected to past life energies here. Being hopeful, having that knowing and excited about this, but not giving that energy off, just being a part of this. But then also to someone possibly wanting to take a leap of faith when it comes to a connection, that being a part of the message coming through for you and that page energy. Let's see what wanted to pop here. Look at that. An offer of an Ace of Pentacle here. This is strong material gain. Strong material wealth. But you coming into a great offer that's going to bring you a great amount of wealth, prosperity, and abundance. I do feel it's a part of this offer that's coming through. And what I'm getting to is that this could even be about you and this other person going through similar parts of your journey. As I said here, you both being a magician energy, building up to a Ten of Pentacles for yourself and then moving forward together here. Walking away from what no longer serves where you may have both experienced third party situations that were very hurtful. Cutting off what no longer serves, moving greater into your self abundance here and doing what's best for you. And in doing so, as within, so as without, we have that infinity symbol here. Also representative of the eight energy overall, speaking to the destiny for you and a connection coming through where you're starting something new, but then also see, receiving a wonderful message here and wonderful offers in the Ace of Pentacle and Ace of Wands energy here. This is Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Aces have... Everything to do with newness and nothing from the past. And it was popping too. This is a hot pinnacle here. Where I do feel it's a very heavy one. That has a lot of stout to it. So let's get to your final card here. Okay, we'll see what's on the bottom. You moving away from what no longer serves. That's more of that energy, but I do feel this speaks to you and this person you're connecting to can see the wand here. I'm here and let's go, babe. It's you and me, baby. You and me. Let's do it. Six energy, unconditional love, Virgo energy, house of Virgo here. Brown energy coming through very strong. So you may have a strong Virgo in your chart along with this connected person here that's coming through. This is so pretty. I love these readings lately. They're so lovey. Let's get to your final card. And we'll keep this here. You both taking a leap of faith on one another here. Four Aquarius moons. Aquarius moons. Let's see what we have. It is time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. This card has been popping. So I wonder if there are some significant lessons when it comes to a Taurus and Scorpio polarity energy. We'll leave this right here. I'm going to grab the reading here. But releasing, I feel we have that present here. And then very strongly here too as well. So I would say you're definitely on the right path. All right, so it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. If you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. 
If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card her heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. For some, however, this card has a totally different meaning. Your sex life can improve now. If you make an effort, use your magic. You have all you need inside of you to bring about your desired result. So to attune to the moon, the affirmation is to emote. It's all better out than in. Additional meanings for this card is that it's time to move from living fearly, fearfully, excuse me, to living joyfully. You're right to have your suspicions. Grudges are toxic. Let something go. The end of an argument. The teaching. The full moon in Scorpio has a sting in its tail. It can herald a vindictive end to a relationship. It can also be a time when we want to be good, but we're naughty. If you pull this card, no matter when, your dark side and your shadow self may be showing. The full moon in Scorpio is also a time of magic. If you were thinking of making some magic, this is your sign to do it. All right, so I think it's pretty clear. You're moving away from what no longer serves and coming into greater abundance. I do feel a strong partnership is in the works here and you have great offers that are coming through that is going to bring you a wonderful amount of stability here. Wonderful amount. So good luck to you and best wishes as you move forward into this. This is wonderful. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching for you. I thank you all for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. I love you. Take great care. Peace.